G'day kids, Mr. One here, and Mrs. One, and Bridie, Hello. and Percy. Bridie, do you have a question for Dad? Yes. Dad, mm -hmm. have you ever had to be saved or rescued? Uh, yes. Actually, when you are in Mum's tummy, um, I was climbing a mountain with a friend, uh, War Gorge, and we're getting pretty close to the top. And a rock gave way underneath me, and I fell a long way and landed on the ground and snapped my leg, cut my head open, and um, yeah, I was not in a good way. Um, but my friend luckily had a mobile phone and he called the Westpac helicopter, and they come along about three hours later and chopped me out of there um, and got me to the nearest hospital. <coughs> So without them, I would have, yeah, I wouldn't have made it out of there. Mm. So thankfully, the helicopter saved you. Dad, you rolled down. <laughs> and the Bible is very clear um, that we all need saving and that the only way we can be saved is through Jesus. Today, we're going to hear the story of Lot. And you might remember that Lot is Abraham's nephew. And this is... Um, from Genesis 18 and 19. I'm reading from um, a lovely Bible that the Gabbets actually gave us, the Gospel Story Bible. This is the picture. So God rescues Lot. After the Lord and the two angels finished their visit with Abraham, they headed toward the sinful cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. When Abraham learned that the Lord planned to destroy the cities because they were so wicked, he began to worry, for he knew his nephew Lot lived near there. He asked the Lord, Suppose there are fifty righteous within the city. Will you then sweep away the place and not spare it for the fifty righteous who are in it? <coughs> the Lord replied, if I find at Sodom 50 righteous in the city, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Still, Abraham kept questioning the Lord's plan and asked again, What about 45? What about 30? What if 20 or only 10 righteous are found? Finally, the Lord promised Abraham that if 10 righteous people could be found in Sodom, he would spare the whole city. The two angels went on to Sodom and Gomorrah. Just outside the city, they met Lot and stayed at his house. Even from Lot's home, they could see that the city was a very, very wicked place. There weren't even 10 righteous people in the city. The angels warned Lot that the cities would soon be destroyed. They told him to take his family and run away to safety. Lot passed along the angel's warning to the men who were pledged to marry his daughters, but they just laughed. They thought he was joking. When morning came, there was no time left. The angels urged Lot to take his family and run, but even then Lot was slow to leave. Finally, the angels grabbed Lot by the hand and pulled his family out of the city. God had mercy on them. The angels urged them to run from the valley and escape to the hills. But because the hills were far away, Lot asked if they could run to the city of Zohar instead. The angels agreed. But they warned Lot and his family not to look back or stop on their journey. When Lot reached Zohar, God rained sulphur and fire down from heaven to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. When the fiery rains began, Lot's wife disobeyed the angel's warning and turned back to look. Just like that, she turned into a pillar of salt. But Lot and his daughters were rescued because they obeyed the angels. Did you know that God has a plan to rescue us too? Like Lot, we are all sinners who live in a sinful land. We all need God's 
merciful rescue. Without it, we will all be punished in the fires of hell that never end. But when Jesus died on the cross, he took the punishment we deserved for our sin. God calls us to believe in what Jesus did, run away from sin and put our faith in God's plan to save us. But just like Lot, we are stubborn. We want to stay in our world of sin. So God reaches down and gives us the faith we need to believe. Then God draws us away from sin to the safety of his son, Jesus. And that's the story of Lot. The only way we can be saved forever is to look to Jesus and not look back. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you speak to us through your word. We pray that all the children of the church we come to know God more and more each week through reading the Bible and going to church. We pray that we will remember that all of us are sinners, just like Lot, who need to be saved, and that we need to put all our trust in Jesus. God, we ask that our children would run to the rock of their salvation and find their refuge in him alone instead of the things of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.